Hello, my sunshines. Welcome back and thanks for popping in. For today's video, we're talking all things clothing subscription boxes. I actually have three to share with you. I have what is my last stitch fix of 2022, as well as two kind of more minor clothing subscription boxes that I thought we'd pop in here too. I still have my Christmas up in my bedroom. I've taken it all down in the rest of the house, but I'm working quite a lot this week and I just haven't hit the bedroom yet. I have to say I decorated really early this year, which I do not regret. However, it has made me want to take my Christmas decorations down as quickly as possible. So I'm going to work on that this weekend. Are your decorations still up or do you keep them up a little bit longer? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and jump in for the stitch fix. I'm not going to show you what's inside the box. We're going to go directly to the try on. So we'll start with this little box first. This is Splendies. I actually brought this subscription back. I did it for quite a while, a couple of years ago, and I brought it back in my budget friendly subscription box series. And I forgot how much I really liked the Splendies underwear. So every month you get three pairs of underwear for $16.99. And I really like them. You can pick between like an all thong box. You can get like more like briefs type of a box and bikinis, or you can get a mix. I get the like what they call the briefs box. And what I like about them is there's quite a few cotton pairs of underwear in here. You usually get some themed ones. Like last month, we got some Christmas underwear. And as I was wearing some of the pairs, I was like, gosh, I really like their underwear. And honestly, as women, we kind of wreck underwear monthly sometimes. So it's nice to have a few fresh pairs. And I don't know, there's something about like a themed pair of underwear that's kind of fun too. So I do have a discount code for this box to get your first one, which is three pairs of underwear for only $8.50. If you want to give it a go, I'll put the link down below. I haven't even split the tape for this one yet. So they're just wrapped up a little white Splendies tissue with their sticker. Let's see what I got. Oh, these are fun. If you like fun underwear, and I'm a fun underwear type of girl, I mean, I think there's definitely a place for like the nude and the black of it all, but sometimes some fun underwear is really great. I also think in the winter when you're wearing lots of like black jeans and blue jeans, you're not wearing like white jeans and pants that you're gonna see through. It's a fun time to have some fun underwear. So look at these. <laughs> This is a lace and uh, purple and hot pink. This is more of a bikini, which I like. And this lace, I'm not usually a lace girl, but it's really soft. It's not that like itchy, cheapy lace. Um, one of the pairs that I got last month had lace and I was super surprised at how comfortable it was. These actually come up a little higher than you think because of the purple. So that was one of the pairs. Then you usually get like a, what I call the like, um, chicka wow wow pair the pretty pair Ooh, look at those they have they come down in a v and they have a little crisscross the color is really pretty too isn't it they have lace around the leg oh, i'm interested to try these last month we did get a pair of like mesh ones the mesh panties are so in style right now they're just not my favorite um, but I think I would definitely wear those. And then, oh my gosh, they have birds on them. I really like these too. Look how fun. So it just gives you some fun, interesting refreshment in the underwear department. So if you want to try Splendies, like I said, I have that discount code to get your first three pairs for only $8.50, which I'll put down below. Then I got my Shabby Lane subscription in. Now I do pay for the Splendies with my own money. Shabby Lane, however, does send me this for review. It is a t-shirt subscription. So every month you get a t-shirt. It's custom made for the VIP t-shirt club and a little surprise for 20 dollars you guys that price is such a good price and she does give me a discount code to give to you for an additional 20 percent off your first box i honestly don't know how she stays in business with these prices because her stuff is so cute now this was the december vip box which you can um still get and what i like about this one is she kind of plans ahead so her december box 
would really be meant to wear more toward January. Her November box was more themed toward the holidays. Her October box was themed more for like Thanksgiving. Do you see what I'm saying? And I really like that because she gives you a whole month to be able to wear it. Um, so this says choose joy. And then I think, I don't know. Oh yeah, here's the little freebie. Oh my goodness. It's a Christmas ornament. Do I have my glasses on my head? I do not. And I don't see what I did with them. We'll see if I can read this without the without my glasses on. There's the little ornament. How cute. I have the tree that goes in my dining room is all wood, white, and natural and red ornaments. So this will be perfect for that tree for next year. Um, and then I have my little discount code, which I've already shared with you. And then here, and this is my favorite color to wear. This is such a Christy color. She sent me a little Christmas card also. Is this burgundy t-shirt and it's got a big snowflake on it. So perfect for winter. And it says, choose joy. Joy was my word of the year a couple of years ago, but it sort of stuck with me. I feel like it's my word of my life. I try to be joyful as much as I can. Now I do get this t-shirt in a size large because I like my t-shirts oversized, but I have to say, I love these t-shirts. They wear really well. They wash and dry really well. The quality of them are fabulous. And this is like a little metallic. Can you see? So, so cute. So if you want to try the Shabby Lane t-shirt subscription, um, I'll leave the link down below as well as that 20% off coupon code. And thank you to Shabby Lane for sending this over. Okay, now we're going to dive into the Stitch Fix. Like I said, I'm going to go right into the try on. However, if you don't know about Stitch Fix or you need a little refresher, it is $20 to get your box. That is your styling fee. Your stylist gets to work. She styles about seven or eight items and then she will send you an email and say, these are the items that I've pulled. From there, you you can pick up to five items and you can decline all of it if you don't like it. I have to say my last probably six months of emails, I've declined almost every single thing. They've been kind of stinky. <laughs> And then they'll come back and they'll restyle your box, which that's usually when they get down to brass tacks and I get a better box. Um, then they send you the five items. You, If you buy one or more items, you get that $20 credited back to your account based on whatever you buy. If you buy five or more items, you get a 25% um, discount, which is really nice too. Um, so here's what my box looks like. You also get a postage paid envelope to send back anything you don't like or don't want. So let me open this box and try on the first item and see what we think. Hang on. All right, so before we dive into this try on, I wanted to let you know that I'll have all of the items that I'm trying on from Stitch Fix linked down below as long as they are available. So if you're like, mm, I'm not really sure if I want to get a Stitch Fix box right now, but I really love that top or jacket or whatever I try on, all the individual links will be down below as well as my Stitch Fix link. Now, here's what I will say about this first piece. I approved it in my preview. I'm very bad to just open the preview and look strictly at the pictures and accept or decline pieces based on that. And I think the model must have had a black top on because I thought this was a coat. Now in Stitch Fix's defense, I'm sure it said puffer vest in the description and I just didn't bother to read it. Um, I had just gotten home from New York when I approved this and I realized my coat game was a little bit bare. A lot of my coats were older. Some of them didn't fit. Some of them I just wasn't in love with anymore and I realized I needed some more coats. Um, and so that's why I approved this one. I wouldn't have approved it, like I said, as a puffer vest. It's almost like a duster length. It goes down past my knees. It buttons and zips all the way up. I will say there are buttons. I don't know if you can tell because I'm wearing black, but it does but unbutton on the side. So you're able to move just a little bit, which honestly, I kind of feel like defeats the purpose of it being so long because your legs are gonna get cold. I feel like if you've got it unbuttoned, but who am I to, to complain, I guess. Um, it's got a hood. It's got something to keep your neck warm. So if you're looking for like a longer puffer vest, I've never actually seen anything like this. Here you go, $120. It's quilted. It's very lightweight, which is nice. 
but this is just not something that I will need. Now, what I will tell you is, and I haven't shown it on my channel, I bought the viral Amazon Orale coat to go to New York. Chef's kiss. I absolutely love it. You know what? I will try it on and the very last piece that I try on and kind of show you if you're looking for a really great coat because it kept me super warm. And I have to say in the airport, I was like, that's my coat. That's my coat. That's my coat. It comes in a hundred million different colors, which is really cool too. And I'm really happy with it. But this piece is going to be a no for me. Let's see what else they sent. All right, so here is this next piece. It is by Daniel Rain, and it is $68. It's this beautiful navy background with florals. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I don't wear a lot of florals, even though I had a floral sweater on in the opening. Um, just not really drawn to them. I think this one is really cute for spring. It's got the three-quarter link sleeves, maybe just a little bit longer. They come just right above my wrist. Um, I will say this is a medium, and if you are busty in any way, I would go up a size because I feel like it just fits me here through my chest, and I am not a chesty girl. So if you like this, definitely size up. I think the length is really nice on it. It's got a little split neck, which is pretty. Again, I think going into spring would be pretty with like a little hot pink fun blazer would be a great little work top with just some navy pants. Really cute. Um, Is this something that I'm drawn to? I, I don't think so. If I did decide to get this, I think I would go up one size because it does feel just a little bit tight through the underarms. That's why I'm saying size up if you're on the fence. The pattern on it's really pretty though. I don't know. This is not a classic Christie shirt. So I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I'll tell you at the end if I decide to keep it. All right, let's see what's next. All right, this next sweater is by 41 Hawthorne. This is a cashmere sweater. Now, what I will say is I have a beautiful black turtleneck cashmere sweater I bought a couple of years ago from Stitch Fix. I actually wore it to work on Christmas Eve. It is so soft. It is washed well. It is held its shape. It's just lovely. And this one has that same beautiful feel to it. I mean, cashmere, it's just lovely. Um, it is in the color espresso. This one is a hundred dollars. And I have to say, I don't love the color. I think I would want something like a bright, pretty green or a bright blue or something that just kind of is better for my complexion. I don't think this is bad, but I don't think for the price, I would reach for this and get as much joy as I do in maybe another color. So this one's gonna be a no. However, I'm telling you, don't sleep on the Stitch Fix Cashmere because it is absolutely beautiful. All right, so All here right. are the next two pieces. I have on a pair of jeans from Democracy. These are the Cheryl Absolution High Rise. They're like a baby boot cut. Now I've been asking my subscription boxes for some black straight leg jeans. Those must be an anomaly because nobody seems to have them. Um, all of my black jeans right now are skinnies and skinnies aren't out. I don't think anybody's going to give up their skinnies anytime soon, or maybe some of you will. Um, I still like them. I think with tunics and stuff, there's definitely a place for them, but I really am just drawn to those straight leg jeans. And these are just not it. One thing that I don't like about them, and you might not be able to tell, but they're a very faded black, almost like a deep gray. And I really, when I reach for black jeans, I want them to be a little dressier. So I need them to be a deep, dark black. Now I could grab some Rit dye and dye them, but if I'm going to pay full price for a pair of jeans, do you really want to do that? I don't. <laughs> So I'm probably just going to have to hop on over to Nordstrom or somewhere and see if I can try some on. I don't dislike them, and I'm not usually a democracy um, absolution girl. These aren't bad. I think black denim tends to fit a little bit different than blue denim. They've got like a little wider leg that hits me right kind of at the ankle, which is great for booties. You don't have to roll them up. But these are just not what I'm looking for. I appreciate they sent them. This is probably the closest thing that they had in stock, but it's just not what I'm looking for. And then the next thing they sent was this dark green, which I would have loved this in that cashmere sweater. Um, it's called the Canon 
tunic top. This is 62. It's by Threads for Thought. I've been getting a lot of this brand in both Stitch Fix and I think in my Wantable, and I do like it. Now it is tunic length. It's like a sweatshirt, but it's got a very, very thin layer of that fuzz. You know, the inside of sweatshirts, how it can be like really plushy and soft and fuzzy. There's just like almost like a little duck down. <laughs> Just that tiny little bit of fuzz. So it's a little bit on the thinner side, which I have to say I like, especially for our climate um, or my climate. It's great just to just throw on with leggings, but I also would just probably tuck it in. I'm a little bit longer waisted. I think it's really pretty. I like the crew neck. It's the perfect shade of green for me. It does have the little thumb holes. <laughs> so if I wanted to wear this with my leggings and, you know, take my uh, morning or afternoon walk, I could do that too. So I definitely think I'm going to keep this piece. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to keep any of the other four pieces. I don't think that my stylist did a bad job at all. I just think, um, I think I need some color. I'm looking for some color. Let me just try on for those of you who are interested that Orle jacket if you're looking for one and I'll be right back, hang on. Okay, so here is the viral Amazon coat that so many Amazon influencers have talked about for a couple of years. I was actually on a Zoom call with my girlfriends. We went to New York the first weekend of December. We were kind of finishing up our plans and I realized I don't have a warm enough coat. So I went online while we were on the Zoom and I picked this one out. The problem was I was distracted because I was talking with my girlfriends and I thought I ordered the olive green and I ordered the black. Now in the end, I was actually happy that I got the black, but know that this comes in so many beautiful colors if the black is not for you. Um, it's interesting because it has this bright orange <laughs> lining to it. It comes like really, really small. So I actually packed it in my carry-on um, before I even tried it on. I just packed it right in my carry-on so it was easy to pack and then just pulled it out when we got to New York to put it on. Um, I will say this is a little bit on the heavier side, but it's very warm. I think it's got some down in it. This has so many different pockets um, and I wore it the whole time. I was not cold one single day in New York. Um, so it's a little bit longer. It goes past your bum, which I was looking for. As you can see, it goes all the way down. Now, if you go online to Amazon, the girl in the picture looks ridiculous in it. It looks like it's got this really weird flap right here. And it is a little bit longer because the puff stops right here and then there's a little bit more jacket. The picture looks ridiculous. And quite honestly, that's why I hadn't ordered this jacket before now based on all of the reviews. It looks nothing like that when you get it on. There are zippers here, there are zippers here, there it unzips here. So if you've got like a thick sweater and you need a little extra room, you've got that. Um, there's nice pockets, where are they? Right here. It's got this like fleece inside, which keeps you warm. We did have a rainy day. Um, and we ended up going to the Museum of Natural History and it was raining and the line, even though we had already bought tickets, was around the block. Um, the line moved pretty quickly, but we were probably standing in the rain for about 20 minutes. I will say I did not get wet at all. I don't know that this is waterproof, but I didn't have any problem getting wet and the hood comes way over. I didn't mean to talk about this jacket in this video. <laughs> um, it also has snaps and a zipper which is nice and it's got a cuff here so it's going to keep your arms warm like even past like the puffer comes almost to the cuff so again when it was raining my cuffs weren't getting wet which was really really nice uh, again I wore this all the time we were in New York and it was just absolutely perfect we were out and about doing Christmas markets and only that one day when it rained, we were inside, but every other day we were out hoofing it to all the fun places. We walked the High Line and did all of the things. And I can't recommend this coat enough. It is a little bit pricier. It is a little bit more of an investment, especially when you consider that it's from Amazon, but I highly recommend it. The only thing is it is a little bit heavy, but I think that's just because it keeps you warm. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon for another one. Again, all the links will be down below. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye guys.